So uh, our final speaker is, uh, again, very well known to everybody, Ivan Tosic. He's Managing Director of the Metropolitan Research Institute in Budapest. And uh, I think he's going to talk not just about Hungary, but more generally, perhaps, about some of the issues. We're looking forward to your contribution, Ivan. Okay, so being the, one of the last speakers, I thought you are not interested in the periodization of Hungarian urban renewal efforts, but I will talk a bit more about Central Eastern European problems, and I will be rather provocative. So, because I, the final chapter of this book is not finalized yet, it's not written yet, so if we can have a sincere debate about what we are really saying, then I think it would be really important. <clears throat> I will talk about different pathways of transition in housing policy, about the housing renewal dilemma, uh, special housing renewal challenges in East Central European countries today, and what is the EU doing, and what is the EU not doing. Uh, there are different patterns of transition in Central Eastern Europe. I would at least uh, differentiate three models. One is the German model. Uh, the introduction of new regulated market system with public and private rental housing. Then another one is uh, the sub models Hungary, Slovenia, quicker, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, a lit little, little bit slower uh, privatization of housing and creating a uh, legal structure how the privatized housing should, should function. And finally, there is the Southern European model, Southern East, Euro East European, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, quick privatization of housing with the dominance of individual owner occupation and without the necessary legal background. Uh, I am not going into the details of the German model, I just show you some pictures. Saturday late afternoon pictures tell more. Uh, these are large houses, all owned by housing associations, and the housing associations uh, are able uh, to perform large-scale urban renewal, including the public space. I am not talking about the most, the last years where some other changes happened in Germany, but this is basically the, the, the model of, of, of Germany. So you have uh, uh, overarching plans, uh, renovation of many buildings, the tenants, they pay higher rents afterwards, but they get higher social benefits. It depends on their income. But they are not in a decision-making position. Okay, let's go to the second model, which is uh, uh, the larger countries of uh, Central uh, Europe. In Hungary, as one of the examples, there is a law of condominium. This was established in 1924. By chance, it was or applied for housing privatization. Each building which has been privatized has had to be turned into a condominium. And the condominium is a quite acceptable structure for making a decision in the multifamily building. Uh, and later, also a public support system has been introduced. If a condominium has some money, then the local government and the central government adds some money, one third, one third, one third, and then uh, 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 it can be renovated. On this picture, you can see a housing estate. This house has been renovated, this one, these ones, and the rest is sinking. Each house is a condominium. You need... 80% approval, and then you also have to have some money, of course, you can take a loan, and then sooner or later, all of the houses will be energetically improved. And here you can see one example, this is renovated, this has not been renovated yet, and this is again a renovated housing. Uh, let's see the South European model. The South European model is a quick change towards privatiza privatization, less a, uh, less a fair market system, uh, and uh, uh, very, very problematic in many, in many regards. Romania, I will show a bit more pictures about this because they are much, much less known examples. Uh, one of the problems is the collapse of district heating system. Uh, this, if, you, if you look this, people said that uh, this is a public toilet which uh, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> and what if someone is in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> mobility innovation, mobility is another thing which, uh, which I like very much. 
our cities don't only consist of buildings and people, but we are also to we have to move in these cities. And uh, I prepared these pictures, and uh, probably if you look at it, then uh, these are buildings which came up really in the last years. And this picture itself is taken in Paris, and this is a a place where you can where you can rent your electric car, and you can see an electric car is here, and it is just. Uh, just uh, uh, filled up with electricity. Now, solutions, a bus stop. Because only the first picture was shown, you know? From the first picture, you had to find out. Someone said, entry to underground parking. Now, these answers don't step out from the ex previous reality of our cities, because previously it was not really electric car, so there was not need for this kind of thing. Urban micro office. Very important. Maybe, maybe we should build up such kind of things on the street and then some people would have some employment, you know? Urban micro office. Smoking area in the street. <laughs> Very good. I would suggest you should, we could forbid generally to smoke and only to point to those areas where you are allowed, you know? Artificial sun in Nordic cities. <laughs> This is a concrete answer of the, of the problems of, uh, of, of our society. Now, this was another picture which I liked very much. Isn't it nice? Yeah? Uh, this, this picture was taken. This is, this is how it looks like originally, you see. And this is taken on the automatic uh, metro link between Charles de Gaulle 1 and 3. Yeah? Solutions. Beggars. <laughs> Again, I mean, you are so much occupied with the different types of people, and really, if you go back to this thing, maybe, you know, beggars are innovative, you know. Who knows what, what figure a beggar will take, and then uh, you have to be cautious. But then another answer was universal design for public space. Okay. Strange things. I have taken this picture in Rome, and I didn't... I had no clue what it is. Yeah? Then I went a bit to the, to the side and I discovered that this is an air pollution abatement. So it is uh, soaking in the bad quality of air and pushing out some good air, maybe taken from, from rural areas or something, I don't know. Isn't it a nice idea in our polluted cities? All the air should be soaked in and the air from the mountains should be given to us. Now, people were, again, innovative, biological generator, ancient telephone. <laughs> this person, again, it exists to existing, uh, existing frameworks and is not, uh, not able to. Now, this is a uh, interesting uh, small place. I made the picture on the walking street of Belgrade. Belgrade is a very nice city. I, I suggest you to, uh, to, to visit. And this is a biblioteca one-to-one, -one, which means that you bring a book and you can take a book with you. And you can see that someone has brought a lot of copies of his uh, dissertation or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but this was not really taken by others. So... Uh, Solutions, again, existing framework. What can such a thing be? A toilet, okay. Someone went a bit further. Public toilet, not waterproof. <laughs> Another solution, painted transformator house. Macintosh box, Glasgow. Religious box. So we can use our streets to many things, you see? You can, uh, we can have religious uh, books, etc. Uh, this is an interesting, I am almost finished, Beware of the Artist. This was an artistic project in uh, Maribor. Maribor was the capital of culture last year, and a very, very innovative city. And uh, the question was, only this picture was shown, and the question was, what is written on these tables? Uh, on, on this, this was also shown, this, uh, this uh, picture. And uh, what, is, what was written? I want you to relax and have a good time. I want you to think, talk, and eventually change. On these days, each night between 5 and 11, free haircuts, honest conversation, music, bring your drink, and have a relaxed change. 
So it was a kind of artist who, op who offered a place, a relaxation place, and the honest talk. You know, something, sometimes what is missing is a real honest talk, you know? Now, what people thought about that, how is your social capital today? This is otherwise close to the solution, yeah? I wanted to buy a second-hand car. <laughs> Existing frameworks again, yeah? Pablo Picasso was born here. Don't ask me, I am Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture which shows a uh, audience having directed the attention somewhere, and the question was, what happens here? And obviously, the solution lies here, 000246. The solution is a Pecha Kucha presentation, but otherwise we could use in our conferences. You only have three minutes, you have a screen in front of you, and the, the minutes go down to zero. And if it is zero, then you have to stop. You can tell many, many things in three minutes, if you know that you only have three minutes. Okay, New Year's Eve in 2000, art auction, awaiting election results DNHR conference countdown. Finally, this was the last picture. I took it in an EU conference. Look how nice it is. Down is cohesion policy. Then you can go up and you arrive to Horizon 2020, which is the innovation policy of Europe. How nice it is. Uh, and uh, what people said, stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven, fast lane. This is true because those will go up who are the best, though others will stay down. So, <laughs> population aging. We do not see the end. Now, I see the end and I tell you what are the results of the slide competition. Uh, as usual, I will only tell the names of the, only the first three groups will identify themselves. The rest, I hope that they uh, have had fun and have learned something. Planet Earth, 17 points. Simon says, 25. The Leftovers, 26. Morgan, 31. Globals, 34. Bob, 37. Now, if you didn't hear your name yet, then you can, then you can have some hopes, yeah? Big Apple, 49. Bikini Sandwich, 50. And now I will, uh, I will uh, raise the names of those three, those three uh, groups which won the competition. And maybe I would like to ask you to make some pictures, uh, some of you, if you can, when we hand over the, the presents. So the third was Amsterdam meets Tarragona, Fourth, uh, 54 points. <laughs> 